All right, coming to you live, right, from the front porch, Friday, uh, May 1st. First off, saying thank you to all 210 strong subscribers getting into the mojo that is Jason Link's YouTube channel. So I wanted to take a moment and do a little story time with Scoot Scoot if I could, because tomorrow is a very important day in my life. Why? Because my grandma is celebrating her 90th birthday tomorrow. And I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to talk about her impact on me and how much she means to me and how much she has affected my life. Uh, a lot of times we look for heroes and celebrities and Batman, Superman, all these, these external folks that we try to find to give us kind of inspiration. But I don't have to look very far. My grandma, without a shadow of a doubt, is the closest thing to an angel that I have ever seen. I have never met a person that loves her family as much as my grandma loves my family. Uh, I've never in, in all my years really honestly seen her mad. Uh, I've seen her be a person of forgiveness, of, of loving all of us no matter how we acted, what we did, um, of always being there. Always being there for all of us from you know my mom to my Uncle Marty uh, to me, to my sister Mandy, uh, to my uncles, right, to my aunts, every, every week just trying to be as much of a person that's caring for us as she could possibly be. And sometimes we, 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 we don't realize the years and the days and the months go by, I'm saying the opposite, but how many great, great moments that we have with the ones we love. And my grandma's Certainly when I think about it, I get very emotional because we've had so many great times together. Um, I had a very, very, very special, unique upbringing uh, because my grandma and my grandfather owned the radio station and, and a dance hall, and, and I was always, always there. And um, my grandma worked in the, the fields with us, uh, worked in tobacco, and I, I remember her getting up at six in the morning with my grandfather and my uncle marty and me and my mom jenny at the time and of course mandy was little and we going out there and we we working and i remember her uh coming home at at lunch going to the house rather and making us a great meal corn pudding meatloaf everything you could you could possibly think of and never complaining she was always and always has been and is that way um and I feel so privileged that that I'm a person that got to receive that that kind of love from someone because she has has taught me and instilled in me so much hard work, um, manners, right? How to treat people, uh, how to love people unconditionally, how to keep calm. And, and it's almost I joke with her a lot of times. I, I tell her, and she she. Uh, doesn't even know I'm sure much about this but I tell her she's like my my Buddha in a way she's so calm and, and, and so just easy going and I always ask her for advice in life and and what to do and, and some things that she tells me and I hope hope this might help you guys too is she always tells me don't stress right it's nothing we can win or gain by by stress and so don't worry so much whatever you you worried about don't worry about it so much because it's all gonna work out uh, have faith right um that's something that she always has put in me to have faith right and i always see her through any adversity just being the rock that she is and staying strong not losing focus uh remaining calm a, we, a lot of times we have anxiety especially i know us younger folks we, we get crazy and start getting all hyped up about whatever we got going on but i've never seen my grandma do that i always saw her remain calm and, and show the one secret that I think that, that she knows that is a secret to life and that's love. And um, I, I wish that I could be at home uh, with her tomorrow, which is her birthday, or today. If I release this today, it'll be today, but I'm doing it the day before. So, uh, But I can't because of what's going on and, and social distancing and trying to be safe for everyone. Um, and that's not a complaint. I had wished several months ago that I was going to be able to, but we didn't see this coming. A lot of folks don't even have the opportunity to do this video to, to tell their loved ones how much they mean because it's going through much worse matters. 
But I want to take this moment and, and share with her, uh, share with you guys, her impact on my life and in my journey and my road. And she's always encouraged me about my music, her and my mom. And she told me a long time ago when I was 16, she said, Jason, it'll be a hard road, but you have to stay dedicated. And she was right. Uh, the dedication is the key. So I don't want to drag on and go out too long on this, but I want to tell my granny, and I hope someone in the neighborhood, right, will show her. Uh, happy birthday, Grandma. I love you so much. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so thankful for what you've taught me. Uh, what you continue to teach me and the person that you are I love you and um, I, I told you we have to go to a hundred and and fifteen right then then I always joke that I'll let the heavens have her then but I love you so much and thank you for impacting me the way you have in all of our family right I know all of the family wants to tell you happy birthday and we love you love you <laughs>